uh, well done today. I just wanted to ask you about the um, formation. Uh, you played four, you played three, four, three, and um, one with the uh, number ten and two strikers. Can you tell me the difference between those formations? And could I ask what did you say to Mason Mount after the match? Because I saw you give him a big hug and uh, and sort of talk to him. Yeah, I, I, I was just happy that we won, and I was again happy with his performance. And I, you know, you can be very sure that Mace gives leaves his heart on the pitch for Chelsea, and uh, this is what 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 we need. He's an absolute team player, and he is he is still young, and he he is, he is still room to improve. But I, I don't. Him, I told him, don't worry. There's, uh, um, of course, you you can be more decisive and even more dangerous in, in with your decisions in in the in the last in the in the in the very last twenty meters of the match. But if you have to suffer, we suffer, and then we defend. And he was the, the and and for that, I'm very very happy with his performances. And uh, I told the team, this is, is a good good feeling. If things get if things get complicated or if things are not too easy with a second and third goal, we have to we have to experience moments where where we can finish a game like this. And uh, you have to experience it. It's not enough if the coach tells you. And this is what we did today. And okay, today we played with Mason coming from a num number nine and dropping to a number ten position because we wanted to to have two wide strikers uh, and find Mason the the spaces in 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 the between the lines. Uh, he did good. John Cross. Hello, Thomas. I hope you can hear me over the mowers in the background. But um, I, I was just going to ask you, sort of following on from that, a little bit more about Mason. Just you know, he, he's. He, he, he was so so impressive under under you know the previous manager. I guess he was so linked with with, with that manager. You, you, you can see obviously that potential in him. You know he's obviously done done really good things for you know for England as well. Just how how far can he go in the game? And I just thought it was really noticeable tonight as well. The team generally, the players generally seem to really have a smile on their faces. They're enjoying their football again, which is great to see. Please, we're playing, we're playing football. We have the best job in the world and the guys are so, so talented. So, so it's also, it's also necessary that we are grateful and uh, by all the seriousness, we prepare matches and, and how serious we want to win and how serious we take all competitions. We have uh, we have a lot of reasons to have a smile on our faces, even if we work hard and uh, suffering together and working hard together and and uh, experiencing victories like this is the the sweetest is the sweetest feeling that you can get and uh, and that 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 brings you joy and the team works like this uh, every day is a real pleasure to see them out on the pitch every day to see them in the dressing room. The guys are like this and I, I like this a lot because I can feel the group. I can feel a strong group with a, with a strong bond and a, and a very good atmosphere. And uh, they, this is also necessary that we push each other and um, that, that we, we, we really live the feeling that we are together and, and uh, that the guys live this feeling and push themselves. Um, to Mason, I don't want to. I, I cannot tell you where 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 his limit is, and I want to put a limit to his development. He's he is uh, is obvious what his uh, that he has a lot of potential. He's uh, besides that he's a great footballer. He's a super nice guy. He is eager to learn. He is hungry to win. He is hungry to learn. He's he's, he's open minded, and for that I think it, it it's for him uh, is is. Uh, uh, he can perform on any manager, and this is the best thing because that 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 he really means it, and he has this intern motivation, and and uh, he's a, a very very nice guy with a big big personality and and a nice guy. And what can you wish for? Is top. Paul Gilmore. Thomas, the next um, three league games are against teams in the bottom half of the table. Have you had a conversation with the players? about how big a month February could be with not only those league games, but a, a couple of the cup competitions returning as well? No, I just talk match to match. Other, otherwise, we lose the focus. Uh, once you raise your head up and look more than two, three games uh, or more than one game, you lose your focus. It's like this. I don't know any other approach. Maybe other, other coaches do it like this. 
for me is not possible and and of course not possible if we step up in in the middle of the season so we take this step by step tomorrow is the most important day to analyze the match to have the group together to take care about our atmosphere and and our spirit and to do a good training with the guys who who did not get so much attention today and to take care about them and then we will prepare the next day and 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 uh, fly to fly to to Sheffield and we we wait for the next big big match to arrive because it starts with 0-0 and we have to earn our points if we want to get points we have to earn them and and this is the only way i know how to do it and um, um, everybody is happy about that and and the the results and the points take care about themselves and uh, we 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 have to be focused and 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 to improve and to take care about the things that they are good last two matt law and then matt dunn to finish Hi again, Thomas. Um, you're up to six now going into your, to your next match. Um, four points off fourth, but also only five points ahead of tenth. I just wondered um, how tough you see this top four race becoming and how many teams you think could, could be involved in it. I cannot care less because I cannot influence other other results and I cannot influence uh, what 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 the other teams do. I know that there are too many teams between us and 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 uh, and the Champions League um, places. And uh, like I said in the the question, this is maybe boring for you guys, but and I can understand. But I know. I, I simply know no other approach than to take it step by step. And the most important is now that we don't lose the focus tomorrow and to take care about the guys who were not on the pitch today and get a lot of attention. So we have to, to take care about them tomorrow and to, um, to take care about our quality and our, our atmosphere in the dressing room that we are able to compete again on Sunday. We have only two games. Uh, maybe we need some changes to 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 be sharp again and to be to be uh, physical again and to can that we are able to compete on the highest level in the next away game against a strong Sheffield and uh, a very physical Sheffield uh, side that uh, which won the last games and this is all we 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 we, we focus on and uh, the rest we have no influence on the rest and we have uh, enough to do to take care about ourselves. Last question, Matt Dunn. Matt Dunn. Hi Thomas. Uh, just back briefly on Mason Mount again. Uh, England fans, <laughs> England fans joke about how much Gareth Southgate says he's a great player all the time, and Frank Lampard always used to pick him. Uh, when you arrived, you dropped him out of your first team when you didn't really know anybody, and yet now he's your substitute penalty taker and seems a key figure. Is he someone that you have to manage to really appreciate his strengths? And is he someone that, when you work closely with him, you realise how good a player he is? No, that was, no, very, that was clear. very clear before, before because, because we watched we the team and and Frank was was uh, was a regular starter and Frank uh, there was no doubt that 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 he's uh, the team player and he has the potential that he has. We didn't choose him for the first for the first uh, game because we we had uh, we we um, opted for a slightly different uh, profile on the two number ten positions for the first game. When he came in, he 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 showed what uh, what a big influence he can have also from the bench. And 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 from here, there are no guarantees for nobody. Also not for Mason right now, but but. It's easy with him. He leaves his heart out there on the pitch, but everybody else does does the same thing. And uh, you know, it's a team effort, and Mason is the first to 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 agree uh, on that and to behave like that. And this is what what we need. Is there room to improve? Yes. Is there a lot of room? To, yeah. There's a lot of room to improve also for him. And 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 there are no gifts, so he has to earn for his his place in 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 every training and in every in every match. And and the boy is a super nice guy, totally clear, and he knows about it and. He is a competitor, and um, and that's why we will we will keep on pushing him like all the others. Thank you very much. Reminder: one pm embargo tomorrow. Thank you.